My name is Uli Ega from the Medical University of Vienna. I am still a bit uh, hesitant to talk about uh, the outpatient administration of CAR T cells to patients because in Europe this is not clinical routine. However, uh, what we have learned uh, over the past one or two years is that it can be done safely in a subset of patients. There are several data that support this notion. There is the outreach study with the JCAR, and there are several uh, studies applying um, outpatient uh, use of patients uh, with uh, the TISA cell product and of course, in the real world, in the US, uh, there are some uh, paradigms that uh, we have seen. What we've learned is that approximately 60% of patients have to be readmitted to the hospital after they have received the outpatient uh, infusion of CAR T cells. Uh, so um, it's really important to predict uh, who will be the patient who will profit most from this approach. And I guess it's fair to say that um, we should select patients with um, fit, a high fitness, with a low tumor burden and a low ECOG status. Because uh, there, of course, we have a low chance of getting side effects like CRS or neurotoxicity and the toxicity will be manageable. In principle, um, I think it's also a question of uh, logistics, uh, organizing uh, the outpatient infusion setting and the setting of where patients uh, can live during the first two weeks um, after infusion, should they be in a hotel uh, type uh, um, uh, setting like in the US, or should they uh, live at home um, if they are close to, uh, to the hospital? So those are questions that we still will have to work out. But uh, I, I think for the future, uh, it is extremely necessary to deal with these questions because we will need outpatient infusion in uh, many patients because uh, sources in the hospitals are limited and the field, the field of CAR cell administration widens, the indications widen, and uh, on the long run, um, a large proportion of our patients will need the outpatient setting.